Hi, Reverend Tony here with a spiritual challenge for you for the month of September on the theme of belonging. This month in my congregation, we're looking at the theme of belonging. According to Brene Brown, belonging and fitting in are not the same thing. In fact, she says, belonging and fitting in are completely different. And fitting in can be a barrier to belonging. Because fitting in is about conforming ourselves to what others expect. Whereas belonging requires that we be our true self. Here's what she says. One of the biggest surprises in my research was learning that fitting in and belonging are not the same thing. In fact, fitting in is one of the greatest barriers to belonging. Fitting in is about assessing a situation and becoming who you need to be in order to be accepted. Belonging, on the other hand, doesn't require us to change who we are. It requires us to be who we are. My challenge to you for this month is to do a belonging audit. Where do you belong and where do you fit in? Here are some things to think about to help you do this audit. Ponder your relationships to other people at work, school, church, among your friends, with any organizations or teams to which you belong or which you're involved. Ask yourself, in what ways and for what reasons am I my authentic self or not in these relationships and groups? Where do I fit in and where do I belong and why? In what ways do I change my behavior among these people and groups? In what ways do I hide my emotions from these people and groups? What are things about myself I don't want these people or groups to know? How careful am I about sharing my deepest beliefs, values, and worldview with these people and groups? What was it like the last time I felt I stood out or stood alone in these groups? How would I treat one of these people or people in these groups if I discovered they held certain beliefs or values or worldviews? What differences, if any, would be so great that I would no longer associate with them? Fitting in is not always a bad thing. Sometimes it's necessary. Members of non-dominant social groups sometimes need to fit in in order to survive. Sometimes they need to fit in in order to stay alive. Sometimes they need to fit in in order to be successful at a job or among some other group or team they're working on that's made up of diverse people. It can be a privilege to strive for belonging all the time to be able to take those stands Brene Brown talks about and never have to worry about fitting in. Because fitting in, if you are so privileged, is not necessary for your survival. So all of us do some belonging and some fitting in. Because members of non-dominant groups have to strive to fit in sometimes, gives us a clue that there are many places in our society still where real belonging, where everyone being welcomed and included and valued. It's not present. So that's where we're called to do our work. Maybe a first step is this challenge, this belonging audit for yourself. Where do you belong? Where do you fit in and why? Ponder it for a few weeks. After you've done so, maybe write some reflections about it or make some art about it. As always, if you take up this challenge, I'd love to hear from you and see what your experience was with it. Thanks a lot for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe and like the video because that helps me out quite a bit in producing these things. Until next time, go in peace.